so well. The sum of regular daughters. Here's their stockings and here's their shoes. And here's their fine green garters. Yes, I like to wear them. sun burning bright. I bless Freya, the moon in all her light. I bless the air, all father's land. I bless the earth on which I stand.
We are gathered here on sacred ground with the gods and our friends to witness the union of Bran and Rowan. Hammer in the north. Hammer and hold the holy stick. Hammer in the east. Hammer, hollow and hold this holy stead. Hammer in the south. Hollow and hold this holy stead. Hammer in the west. Hollow and hold this holy stead. above, hollow and hold this holy stead, hammer below, hollow and hold this holy stead. Within and without, Asgard and Midgard, we have created sacred space with the circle of our bodies, for we are of the gods. I believe that the couple wishes to address us. Would you hold this between your hands? And okay, you put your hand on this. And you had something you wanted to say to each other? Hold this ring, turn and face each other, say what you will. Is there a snake in the crowd that I can borrow? <laughs> <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> Go to Grandma. Go to Grandma. It's color coordinated, too. Go to Grandma. Go to Grandma. I think I could turn to the animals. They are so placid and self-contained. They do not stay up at night and weep for their sins. They do not make me sick discussing their duties to God. Not one of them kneels to another or to his own kind that has lived thousands of years ago. Not one of them is respectable or unhappy. All over the earth. Blessed be. Blessed be. And I love you for your spirit and your body. Mostly for your body. Blessed be. <laughs> 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 it's your turn, Graham. <laughs> you want to use this thing? Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> he wants to go for the crown. Yeah, they have a love for the crown. <laughs> no, and I will give you my love, my healing, my protection, that you'll have forever. I love you so much. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Before Vora and the gods have these oaths been witnessed. I want it. <laughs> okay. Um, in olden times, it was the custom for the Lord to invest his lady with the keys. Mm -hmm. Are you willing I to? I have the keys. <laughs> invest her with them as a sign of your truth. That's you with the keys. 
to my palace and my treasure. And to my car. Uh oh, you better put it in You may. She can't put it in her neck dress. No. You may now seal your pledges, witnessed before the gods in this company, with a kiss. Make it good, we're all watching. <laughs> 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 That's coming. <laughs> That's soon. <laughs> oh, it didn't wrap. <laughs> At this point, you have several of your friends here that wish to give you blessings. And I will start with the blessing of the priestess, followed with the blessing of the priest, followed by even more blessings. Remember that both of you are manifestations of the gods. The joining of male and female in body and mind is one of the most effective ways of breaking through the illusion of separateness. If there are barriers of deception or concealment between mind and mind, the union may fail. Illusion will be kept alive and you will be depriving each other of the highest joy of which human beings are capable. May the power of the lords of light and darkness always guide your ways. May the gods and goddesses always show you love, temperance, and beauty. So mote it be. So mote it be. I would like to direct a charge from everyone here to the couple. Thank you. Will you hold this please? please? The, the priest and the priestess, of course, will ground this charge if need be. <laughs> Focus your intention, ground and center yourselves. Take a good breath. Everybody ready? Which born? Fear not the earth's nor your mind's darkness. Earthborn, know and love Earth's power and your mind's light. These are the gifts of the great goddess. So mote it be. So mote it be. Thank you. Let the scarlet woman beware. If pity and compassion and tenderness visit her heart, if she leave my work to toy with old sweetnesses, then shall my vengeance be known. I will slay me her child, I will alienate her heart, I will cast her out from men, as a shrinking the despised harlot shall she crawl through dust-wet streets and die cold and hungry. Let her raise herself in pride, let her follow me in my way, let her work the work of wickedness, let her kill her heart, let her be loud and adulterous, let her be covered with jewels and rich garments, let her be shameless before all men. Then will I lift her to pinnacles of power. Then will I breed from her a child mightier than all the kings of the earth. I will fill her with joy. With my force shall she see and strike at the worship of new. She shall achieve Hadith. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. By the power of the gods, and the witnesses here assembled, I now proclaim <sighs> Rowan and Bran united for so long as love shall last.
elemental powers of earth, creatures of the north, I summon, stir, and call ye up to witness and bless the fasting of these hands and hearts. Thor and Frigga sweep down from the hills. As they ride the wind through the green groves and the fields heavy with grains, the caverns and caves call out with silence. The standing stones echo the heartbeat of our mother, the earth. <laughs> spirit blessed with all the gifts of the endless all of one. The sacred gifts of earth include all the wonders and joys of this dimension, especially your bodies. Yeah! <laughs> all the powers of earth ask of you is that you fully abandon yourself to the sweet pleasures and passions that are found in the temples of life that enshrine your spirits. May you Please the spirits of earth all the days and nights of your life, and so please yourself. So mote it be. So mote it be. Things from the realm of the one eyed old man hanging from big Brazil. He sends forth his ravens, an eagle and a wolf. He brings red from the fairy realm, the realm of elephant. Follow the path of your heart. Let your own light shine. Om Baburusha Tatsavitu Varani Fako Tatsavitu Varani Dio Yoda Prachuriyat Luminous one rising in the east Shed forth light from within as well as without. The inner sun that lights the world. It shines your light upon your path where you tread together you walk in your own light. None can lead you where you must go. Full of truth. I bring you the blessings of Freya, who brings love and peace, and a few more things of her sleep and magic. Besides her. Besides her. Mm -hmm. Bring you the blessings of air, breath, voice, the power of communicate. May you communicate and share exceedingly well and better as the years. Vershinia on Riachach, just Tilach, Ech, Anna, and Chanya, Bioach, Inchanya, Angus Corp, Gulkahiv, Shaliv, Shivanesa, Angus Donon, and Shrat Dunya, Angus Analaha. Was that Polish? <laughs> <laughs> Ask him. Dragons of passion and lust always be upon you. Oh boy! Blessed be. Thank you for your blessing. Well, Eager, the Lord of the West, that. welcomes you to this thing. May you be clear be receptive to all that each other has to offer and to share. As the happy couple has made the rounds of the quarters, we want them to be even happier. Oh, yeah, and yeah, what yeah. we are going to do 
Yes. Yeah. All the guys will follow the priest to escort the bride, and all the women we get to escort the groom. All right. Just follow us. for coming and joining us with our hand passing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> ah, our gods, our beliefs, our ancestors, our rights make us what we are. The right is ended, the folk go on. I would like everyone to assemble in a circle up here and we will pass the horn around with more meat in it for the toast to the couple. They will be in the center. Go stand in the center out there and have them make a circle around you. A ritualized form of drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a poor form to drink at this symbol. And with this number of people, we're only going to go once, at which point we will degenerate into whatever we're going to do. But the purpose of this symbol today is to toast and honor the uh, bride and groom, or you may tell your favorite weird story about them, or, you know, anything, you know, oh, no. that's for them. Oh, you're all right. Uh, oh. Us, about them. And uh, we're starting with Buzz as the uh, eldest elder here. Is that the best you can do? You may, I'm sure you can do better all by yourself. Well, I'm, at this point, I'm going to call upon Freya and Freya to smile upon you as long as they will. Thank you. Thank you. These two take pleasure in each other and have clearly found a way of being together that suits them exactly, and I uh, wish them well with that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a great life together and all that stuff. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
children wise, oh, to call our queen who rides the skies, oh, our silver queen who rides the skies. Heimdall, guardian of the bridge between the worlds, we call you forth. Antecessor, come and take us to Deesir's Hall. I am the guardian of the gate. Only good may enter here. Only good may exit here. Join hands and follow me. I bless Frey, the fierce sun burning bright. I bless Freya, the moon in all her light. I bless the air, all father's land. I bless the earth on which I stand. Helga vie theta oak, hindra ala iosk. Now, if everyone will join their right hand over their left, take a step in. We're going to chant all in three times. So <coughs> we're going to our own chant. circle of our bodies, for we are of the gods. I would like to welcome everyone to Winter Nights 89, and I'm going to back up now. The barrier between us is broken. Come forth, D seer of Earth, Earth the nourisher, from which all grows and unto which all dissolves again. Come forth, land whites and land feathers, barrow whites, gnomes, pixies, kobolds, and elven woods types of them all. Come forth. The barrier between us is broken. 
come forth, all elves of fray, all dwarves and light elves, bringers of our thoughts. Come forth, race velger, you who sit on the top of the tree Yggdrasil, and the flapping of whose wings causes all the winds to wail. Come forth, Erpa, Thorgertia, and Njord, the father of Frey and Freya. Kepitha. The barrier between us is broken. Come forth, Deseer of fire. Fire the illuminating, kindled, or quenched. Moosebeely. Balder. Breezings. And Logi. Come forth and be with us. The barrier between us is broken. Come forth, Deezer of water. Water flowing, water limpid, welling up or running dry. Come forth, Fossagrim, water sprites and swan maidens. Come forth, eager water holdens, Myrmines and Nixies. By Leipter, this water is so clean, no wickedness can it hold. We have called forth all the guardians, spirits, and beneficial elements of earth and air and fire and water. In doing so, we do as our ancestors have done for millennia in welcoming the spirits of the earth. And it reaffirms our link with nature. It reaffirms our ties to the earth. At this time of the year, when the days grow shorter, and in most else, the rest of the world, it gets much colder. At this period of time, people were going back indoors and were no longer out enjoying uh, the wonders and the magic of nature and the little critters that <laughs> live all over the woods and all over this planet. Uh, one of the reasons we like to reaffirm uh, this link is that it does bring us in touch with the earth and our ancestors. And in, in the old days when it was very cold, often in the dead of winter you didn't see people for three or four months. So at, at this point, we recognize that the earth is going into a period of dormancy, and uh, we do as well somewhat, even though in our uh, lives in the city now, it's a little different than that. But uh, it, it can be a time even with the rains of not being around. One of the things that we call forth here at uh, winter nights is to bring the rain to uh, California, so that the rains come. Through all the worlds and to the worlds of men, may rain come forth upon this glen. To Freya, the lady of the Deesir, and to all the Deesir, to our kith, to our kin, to our ancestors, hail. New Year to the coming prospering year. This, this has all been so serious and religious. I'm just going to have to <laughs> sing a song. Over <laughs> <laughs> the last, the last tell us what one frog said to the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun when you're having flies. <laughs> anyway, 
one of one of the songs I did many ages ago because this is a, a custom of um, passing the horn and making a toast and, and it's called a summel and you'll all recognize this tune but this is this was also done people did short poetry told short stories tell told of their latest adventure and how they you know raped and pillaged and looted and burned and brought everything back to the tribe but um, the one I wrote that goes with this horn is um, I love to tend the summer fire and host around the horn. I sing and jest and praise the gods. I'm glad that I was born. Valkyrie, Valkyra, Valkyrie, Valkyra, Valkyrie, Valkyra. I'm glad that I was born. I'm glad that everyone's here. That's your last drop. All right. Ourselves, our gods, our beliefs, our ancestors make us what we are. The right is ended, the folk go on. Antecessor, take us out of here.
Everybody stop what you're doing and come to your TV station and watch 13th Heaven, a journey and knowledge discovery of the goddess. Hi, my name is Zsuzsána Budapest and this is my wonderful and esteemed guest, Glenn Turner, who I have known quite a few years in the Bay Area and we are sort of veteran priestesses here. I would be lying if I said that uh, um, I'm talking to a non-pagan and I talk to Glenn, indeed I'm talking to an equal and somebody who is in a different tradition from mine but whose life work has been the goddess just like it was mine. Hi Glenn. Hello. Um, this time I have the privilege to have Anna Dia Judith as my guest. She is a high priestess of uh, a great renown. She is the director of the Church of All Worlds and she's a psychologist, she's a writer, she's a teacher, she's a hard-working goddess person. Our <laughs> guest is Diana L. Paxson, who is the author of nine fantasy novels, including Brisingaman and uh, newly published The White Raven. Uh, she's also a priestess of the old religion and uh, um, the director of the Fellowship of the Spiral Path and currently, if, I mean, to add to all this, currently the co-first officer if of the Covenant do. of the Goddess, which is our Hard very work. Own, uh, I like to include in our conversation dissecting um, all the Christmas symbols and showing how truly, really thoroughly pagan holiday this is, our guest. I want That's you to right. introduce her. Well, we have a guest tonight, and um, we have with us a uh, priestess, Prudence Priest, uh, priestess of the Northern Lights and the Ancient Mysteries. My great friend, Gwen is here, and I wonder what kind of instruments she brought to us this time. One of my most beautiful instruments is this Aboriginal yadaki, or didgeridoo, which comes from Australia. Insects, uh, termites actually, bore out the inside, and then they burn out the rest of it and then just do some basic scraping at the top and the bottom. But uh, it cannot be replicated by uh, any kind of uh, modern instrument, which I think is very beautiful, that the aboriginals, a very, very primitive, pe primitive people, have made this incredible instrument from their native land. And I think it speaks a song that, that needs to be heard in this world. Raven, Moon Shadow. Hi. Hi, Raven. Hi, how are you? Um, Raven is a priest and a teacher from Reclaiming. You've been with them for seven years. Yes, yes. And you hold public rituals and you teach spell crafting. And this is your specialty. Yes, this is my specialty. Well, let's hear about it, Raven. What kind of specialty have we got here? And then we want to get into all the ethics of spell casting as well. And then a, a project that we are involved in, uh, I like to bring up just briefly. Okay. That sounds good. Well, tonight I'd like to talk about image magic, mm -hmm. um, and that's in the creating of an um, image. Basically, magic has lots of little laws, and one of the laws that we're working with here is sympathetic magic, or cognitive magic. Hello, I'm Shoshana Budapest, and this is 13th Heaven. My guest in the studio today is Starhawk, one of my best beloved priestesses in the goddess field. <laughs> Hi, Star. Hi, I see. Welcome. Nice to be here. Welcome to this. Uh, um, one day the goddess will have uh, TV shows on major networks, uh -huh. but right now we begin right here. And the topic today is the goddess movement. The goddess movement 
and how it has grown since we started laboring in her vineyards mm -hmm. in the 70s and the 80s and we both had sort of knocked ourselves out <laughs> <laughs> as it were and uh, we covered the ground and, and um, we sort of enhanced each other's work as we came along and I didn't want to ask you this before the show mm -hmm. because I didn't want to you know I wanted it to be a surprise uh -huh. but I want to know um, what do you think? Uh, where have you been and where are we going and how does this feel to you right now? What is the 90s bringing? Well, it seems to me that the goddess movement has grown tremendously. Um, this year is the 10th anniversary of the publication of my first book, The Spiral Dance, mm -hmm. and that's why we have a new edition that's coming out. We have a big ritual celebration on the mm -hmm. 28th of October. Um, Where is that? At Fort Mason, uh -huh. at Pier 2 in yeah. San Francisco, wow. which, thank the goddess, is still standing. And blessed be, yeah. blessed be. The, thank the goddess and the Army Corps of Engineers. <laughs> <laughs> she was his all. Uh huh. But we really, you know, thought a lot about it. For the new edition, I had to write a new introduction. I wrote commentary on all the old text in the book mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and thought about where has it really come in the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's amazing just how much the whole movement has grown in so many different directions. When I wrote The Spiral Dance, you know, I was sitting there alone in my little apartment typing, f typing on a little electric typewriter. So it was before the computer era. <laughs> yes, which made me literate. <laughs> I, I, I could not produce manuscripts readable and before that thinking, you know, oh, is anyone ever going to read this? And it never, really, it in my wildest dreams would I have known on. that I would, you know, 10 years later, I'd be traveling all over the place teaching ritual that so many people would want to know more about yes. this. You opened up fields mm -hmm. that um, were not reached before. I think you opened up the psychology community mm -hmm. uh, who were tiptoeing towards <laughs> it through Jung and uh, a little bit of goddess, but it was mostly a man's point of view that was still projected. And you brought in feminism as a as a therapy tool, even as mm -hmm. a as a way to analyze one's lives. And I really appreciated you doing that. And. Um, um, then I, I sort of saw you in the heterosexual community um, bringing in men into the goddess and in a non-threatening way so they could accept their own female side and they started talking quite differently from what they used to uh, sound like before and treat women differently. Do you think men as they embrace the idea that yes there is a female side of God and they too themselves have a female side, th that improved men? <laughs> did, did that work? <laughs> Well, I think for a lot of men and women today, what we're really coming to understand is that when we say the goddess, I mean, we're not talking about a big lady in the sky. Right, right. We're talking about the living being that is the earth. That's right. And that the earth itself is alive. Mm -hmm. And I think people all over the world feel that, are beginning to understand that because her life is on the line right now. 13th Heaven is the only TV show about the female side of God. The mother of God. The goddess of all life. Come join Z Budapest and her guests on a journey to discover the healing, visionary, magical, entertaining female energy of the universe. Be part of the goddess movement. Come participate with us in the studio or write to us at Women's Spirituality Forum, P.O. Box 11363, Oakland, California, 94611. Or call the Goddess Hotline, area code 415-444-7724. Blessed, Blessed be. be.
Forever Forests is a nonprofit, tax exempt organization dedicated to ecological awareness and earth stewardship through reforestation. Our spiritual roots are founded in traditional earth religions, and we see the balance of the natural environment as critical to our future survival and to a sense of wholeness. Putting equal emphasis on spirituality and physical work, we try to heal the earth. We see ourselves as a bridge between spiritual groups and ecological organizations. We feel each can be graced by an awareness of the other. Our activities include tree plantings, festivals, training workshops, outreach and networking, and many other efforts related to environmental issues. These activities are designed for people who live and work outside forestry. There's a home far in the mountains Where the world is wild and free Where the evening shadows linger It's a place I long to be I have longed to see the mountains As they were when time was young where the spirits join our blessing Where the gentle song is sung I have wandered wild in the mountains Looking for something I know is my own I can hear a voice deep inside me sought to find a refuge where my spirit won't hold by the fire in the evening all my friends have gathered there to renew our ancient kinship in the songs that we all share provide oxygen, they keep the water table intact, they prevent erosion and provide wildlife, protection, and food. They are a valuable spiritual resource, and in many parts of the world, they are being destroyed. Natural vegetation helps to balance the entire ecosystem. We cannot live without this vital resource. In my dreams I see the sunrise On a noble and glorious day And I hear my family calling In an old familiar way And I hear their voices And I hear
Yeah, white folks was wild once too. We get a wild tattoo and paint our faces blue. If we smelled some game, we knew just what to do. And someone always dug where the medicine grew. We had our own kind of music and our rituals too. Yeah, white folks was wild once too. Forget about the Mau Mau, forget about the Sioux. We was homesteaders back when the glaciers withdrew. And where our chiefs they buried, everybody knew. We had a feel for nature, a sense of what was true. Yeah, white folks was wild once too. We put up lots of big rocks, framing up the moon.
bonded in the worship of a dead man on a cross. They sought control of the common people by demanding allegiance to the church of Rome. Chose their death in the sea While chanting the praises of The mother goddess A refusal of betrayal Women were dying to be free Okay. 